Hello everyone and welcome! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a unboxing and I guess demonstration video for the Rapid Response COVID-19 Antigen Test Kit. Now these test kits were made available by the Alberta government just recently um, in response, I guess, to the holiday sort of rush where families and friends and co-workers will get together and have a bunch of indoor gatherings. And the whole premise behind this is to ensure that you test negative so that you can meet with people and not spread the very rapidly growing Omicron COVID-19 variant. And so uh, Alberta government uh, will offer these kits for free at your local pharmacy as long as you present them with a valid Alberta uh, healthcare number. And so uh, if you're fortunate to get your hands on one of these things, there are five tests in one box. And the whole idea here is that within a 20 minute time frame in the comfort of your own home, um, that you can test yourself to verify if you are COVID-19 positive. And so the reason why I'm actually doing this video is because this morning I actually got word that I was in close contact with someone that tested positive for COVID-19. And logically that is a cause for concern because I don't want to get COVID-19 or if I do have it, I don't want to be spreading it around uh, and making the situation worse. So that being said, this is the Rapid Response branded COVID-19 antigen test kit comes in a green box, factory seal, right? So make sure when you get these that these are not tampered with. Um, on the bottom side here, it actually tells you what the quantity or the contents of the box are, as well as the manufacturer date. Now, diving right in. We're gonna cut this bad boy open. Open this up and then empty out the contents. So inside here, We've got a detailed instruction leaflet in both English and Francais. So real simple step-by-step -step procedural instructions on what you're supposed to do to do the setup, how to swab, how to activate the reagent or get the reagent to react with the swab, and then ultimately um, putting the test results into a cassette so that you can confirm if you have COVID-19 or not. Okay, so English on one side, French and other nice pictorial diagrams so it's easy to understand. Now we have five test cassettes, right? So one, two, three, four, five. And this is gonna be a test strip that essentially looks like a pregnancy test to tell you if you have COVID-19. We have five disposable swabs right, that get shoved up into the nasal cavity of your head. It's kind of painful. We've got a test tube stand holder, five disposable test tubes with five filtered dropper nozzles that attach to that test tube. And then at least in this particular test kit, uh, we have five single use uh, reagent ampule uh, capsules that you fill your test tube with and then dip your swab into. Now there's an alternate version of this rapid response kit where it comes with a dropper bottle. Um, fundamentally how the test outcomes occur and how you use it is exactly the same. The difference being that you crack one of these open, dump the entire contents into a test tube, whereas if you have the dropper bottle that you have to put 10 drops into that test tube. Um, but it is basically the same solution, just different packaging, okay? And then last but not least, we have a quick reference card, again, in Anglais and Francais on each side. And so it just sort of gives you a detailed explanation on how to set things up um, and then how to swab your nasal cavity properly. Um, the other thing that they don't mention that you need <laughs> during the testing uh, portion of it is a clock or a timer, right? Because when you dip the swab into the reagent solution, you gotta swirl it around for probably 30 seconds and then let it stand in the solution for two minutes. And then afterwards, you're going to mix that reagent again, drop that onto the cassette and then let it react with the test strip for an additional 15 minutes to get your results. Okay, so there you guys have it. Let's dive right in and see how she works. I'm gonna crack this bag open. Okay, we'll grab a little tip. The Butterfinger City, guys. So there's a little tip in there that goes on the end of the test tube after when you're done. We've got our plastic test tube. You stick it in the stand. And then, because I have these single use ampules like these ones here we're going to twist this top open and then empty the contents into our little test tube here 
empty it all in. So just squeeze that all in. Okay, like so. Now if you have the dropper bottle uh, version of the test kit, you're going to put 10 drops into the test tube. Okay, but I have single use ampules, so empty the whole contents in. It just comes in shy of the first line. I'm going to place that down there. And then we're going to open up our swab. And there's actually two methods here that you can uh, do to swab inside of your nose. Uh, the first one being that you basically jam um, this swab, right, into uh, basically as far as you can into your nasal cavity uh, along the palate inside your nose. And it's supposed to be uncomfortable. It's not supposed to feel good. And the whole idea is that you want to get deep into your sinus cavities to actually get the mucous membrane. And that's apparently um, what you're sampling. The alternate method is to uh, tilt your head back about 70 degrees and then shoving this in at least half an inch into your nostril. Again, sort of along the mucosa inside your sinus and then sort of giving it a twirl uh, at least five times and then uh, squeezing the sinus or your, your nose before you're extracting it and then sticking that into the test tube. So individual swabs are wrapped like this. Now on the tip here, if you guys can see that, um, little fuzzy end. So just double checking the instructions. It goes gently insert the sterile swab into the nostril parallel to the palate, not upwards. The distance should be equivalent to that from the ear to the nostril of the patient. Ooh, that's quite a bit and that doesn't sound pleasant at all. It says, uh, it goes contact with the nasal pharynx or until resistance is encountered. Gently rub and roll the swab. Leave in place for several seconds to saturate the tip with secretions and then slowly remove the swab while rotating it. Alternatively, right, it says, tilt the patient's head back 70 degrees, insert the swab through the anterior nares in contact with nasal septum at least half an inch inside the nostril until mild resistance is encountered at, in, at the middle of the terminate, whatever the heck that is. Using a circular motion, the swab, uh, swab the nasal orifice should be um, swabbed for five seconds minimum. Compress the nostril with the fingers to trap the swab tip and rotate the tip for another minimum of five seconds. So, um, yeah, either way that sounds kind of nasty, but we got to do it. So I'm going to tip my head back here. Jam that until resistance is met. Oh my God, that feels hard. Oh. I'm going to move it back and forth. Oh, it feels like I'm probing my brain. I'm going to do this a bit longer just to make sure I get the right results. All right, I'm going to spin this around. <coughs> Ooh, nasty. Hey, okay, pull that out. Okay, there's lots of secretions there. In fact, I'm going to get some more. It's almost got a bit of blood in it. Squeeze that. Push my nostril and pull out. Okay, so lots of secretions on that. Now the next step here is to insert into the reagent solution here. Okay, and basically it's a swirl of a swab, making sure that we mix the secretions into the reagent solution. All right, I'm gonna spin that around and really give that a good mixing. Okay, so like so, I'm gonna squeeze the soft test tube. And again, we're gonna squeeze that solution all around this cotton tip, or the swab tip, it shouldn't say cotton tip, but the swab tip, just to make sure that the solution is fully saturated with the junk that came out of my head. <laughs> and do that, okay. I'm gonna keep doing this. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm applying pressure to that swab tip just to get that pure station juice <laughs> okay so now it says let this sit for two minutes in the reagent okay so I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes and we'll come back okay so with about a minute left on the timer uh, we're gonna go and open up 
one of these green seal packages, which is actually the COVID uh, test cassette as they refer to it in the kit. I'll tear that open. And then it looks just like that. <laughs> it looks an awful lot like a pregnancy test kit, essentially. Um, and so the idea here is that when you um, put the drops onto that little indicator uh, spot there, that if you see two solid lines on the C and the T, so a line on C and a line on T, that you are testing positive for COVID-19. If the C has a line, but the T has nothing, it means you're negative. And if there's no line on the C, but a line on the T, that the test is invalid and that you're gonna have to repeat the test. So uh, we're gonna lay a set down. Hey, we're going to pull the swab out but before doing so, we're gonna give it a nice firm squeeze so that when we pull the swab out that we leave behind the reagent inside the little tube there. So get off all that liquid and then dispose of this in accordance with your local sort of garbage and health guidelines. I'm gonna stick mine back in the package, get rid of it. Now, we're gonna take that little filtered tip from the kit and we're gonna insert that into the tube and my timer's just up to two minutes, and it says, attach the sample extraction tube and invert the tube and add three drops of the extracted solution into the sample well of the test device by gently squeezing the tube. Start the timer, wait for the colored lines to appear, read the results in 15 minutes. So we're gonna take this, right? So there's the little sampling well. We're gonna turn it over and apply three drops. One, two, three, and that's it. And then we're gonna come back in 15 minutes and see how many lines we get. Okay, so about a minute has passed since I dropped the drops onto the well there. And you can sort of see that reagent solution working its way up into the test strip. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes since I've put in the three drops into the cassette's test well. And as you can see from my test results, that I have a single line on the C, which indicates that I am COVID free. Awesome news for me. Um, and hopefully the rest of the people that this individual has been in contact with also don't have COVID-19. Now, if you guys end up doing this test and you see no line on the C and you see a line on the T, it just simply means that the test was done incorrectly and that you should repeat the test, making sure that you get that test swab deep into the nasal mucosa so that you can get proper test results. Now, if you're one of the unfortunate ones that have C, that you see a strip I guess a line on the C and the T and are confirmed to be tested positive for COVID-19 that, you know, my suggestion is, you know, stay hydrated, make sure that you eat well, get lots of rest and follow sort of what your local health guidelines recommend, typically isolating for 14 days uh, as most COVID-19 symptoms are generally mild to moderate. Now, if you're one of those rare exceptions where you get really severe symptoms or you're short of breath or you have an extremely high fever that lasts for a long time, highly recommended you get yourself to a hospital um, because it can be life-threatening for certain individuals. But that being said, I tested negative, I'm super grateful, I'm gonna usher in the new year with my friends that also tested negative for COVID-19 and celebrate the incoming 2022 year. So if you guys like this video, smash that like button and consider subscribing to my channel and stay safe during this holiday season. Thanks for watching.